Have you ever wondered why we instinctively react with anger when we're hurt? Why we feel compelled to return pain with pain, insult with insult, creating a never-ending cycle of hurt? Today, we're exploring a different path. Imagine sitting amidst a storm both outside your window and within your heart. The wind howls mirroring the tempest inside you. It's a familiar scene, the surge of anger, the impulse to retaliate, to reflect the hurt you've received. You've been harmed, and the instinct is to strike back, to make the perpetrator experience the pain you've felt. This is a common narrative, isn't it? An eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, a cycle of hurt that seems unbreakable. But as you sit there, wrestling with this recurring urge, something within you quietly shifts. A soft voice whispers, gently pointing you to an alternate path, a path that leads away from the storm and towards tranquility. This path isn't a straight line, Picture it as a winding trail ascending towards a mountain peak, a summit that stands above the storm bathed in the divine golden light. This is a path of choosing love over anger, offering forgiveness instead of seeking retribution. Think about the oak tree standing firm against the wind, deeply rooted, its branches reaching for the sun. This is the path of resilience, the path of hope, the path of a heart that chooses to endure, to extend grace rather than vengeance. A change occurs within you. The urge to retaliate diminishes, replaced by a longing for something more profound, a desire to reflect the very essence of the divine. The storm continues to rage, but you choose a different path. The path of love, of pursuing goodness, not just for yourself, but also for those who've caused you pain. This is a path of choosing kindness, a path of seeking to heal rather than inflict hurt. This is a journey, a journey that starts with a change of heart and leads to a place of peace, understanding, and true healing. As you traverse this path, you realize that the storm doesn't wield control. The divine does. His love, like the oak tree, stands firm, unwavering, offering refuge amidst the turmoil. His love calls out to you, encouraging you to adopt a life of compassion, to find strength in his grace, to extend forgiveness, to be a beacon of light in a world shrouded in darkness. This journey isn't always easy, but it leads to a place of liberation, tranquility, a place where your heart finds true comfort in his presence. It's not about revenge, it's about reflecting his love, his nature. It's about choosing the path of the oak, the path of resilience, the path of grace. It's a path that leads to a life that pays homage to him, a life that mirrors his heart, and a life that brings healing to a broken world.